Hi there, it's Max Simon, the founder of Big Vision Business. And in this second video of the series, we're gonna drill down even deeper about this idea of finding your tribe. And more importantly, show you exactly why trying to speak to too many different tribes at once makes your marketing offers and positioning kind of watery and causes people not to buy. Because for better or worse, I definitely find that the vast majority of people that come to us here at BVB are having a really difficult time determining who they truly serve. So as a result, whether you're aware of it or not, you speak to multiple different tribes because you feel like you should be reaching a large audience. But unfortunately, when you do this, you actually reach less because you don't have that clear, sharp, resonant message that makes people stop and pay attention. So today, we're gonna to show you how to break that cycle of speaking to everybody. And then of course, give you some clear examples about speaking to a specific tribe so that everything you do sounds more attractive and valuable. Now, if you're new here because maybe a friend sent you, let me tell you my quick story. As I said, my name is Max Simon and I've been behind many very successful purpose-driven companies. I built Deepak Chopra's products business from scratch, developing 49 of his signature products and creating his refreshed Chopra Center brand and really building his online marketing systems an e-commerce platform. I was also the youngest instructor in their history and spent many years traveling the world speaking to tens of thousands about meditation, mind-body living, and more. Here at Big Vision Business, I've now literally worked with thousands of companies and entrepreneurs to help them build their expert businesses into something great. This is including New York Times best-selling authors, the world's largest workshop leaders, globally recognized consultants, many of the industry's top internet marketing stars, and more. In fact, you'd probably be surprised to find out how many of these people have either been students of mine or worked with me personally to build their businesses. But probably most importantly is that I've developed a specific and unique philosophy about how to grow your business, which revolves around this concept of finding your tribe. You see, your tribe are the people you are meant to serve. They're people that are hungry for what you do and can afford your products and services. And of course, you should love working with them. Now, it should be easy to find your tribe because you know where they go for answers. You know what they want. You know what they're struggling with. You know what outcomes would sound like music to their ears so that you can speak to them in this resonant way. Now, these are the outcomes I wanna help you achieve. So let's dig in here today and get to work. Now, from my experience, most people either don't realize they're speaking to way too many tribes at once, or they are making a conscious choice to speak to multiple tribes at once in fear of you know, limiting your audience. But consider this. The number one reason why people buy from you is actually very simple. People buy because they're looking to achieve something specific in their life and you promise to help them. For example, if I'm not sleeping at night, I don't really wanna buy a meditation training I want you to tell me, point blank, that you can help me sleep soundly through the night and that this meditation might be specifically designed to get me to that restful place within minutes. So in this case, it's not a magical solution why somebody buys. It's quite simply that they want to achieve something specific and you're promising to help them do that. So the reason why it's imperative for you to speak so the reason why it's imperative for you to pick a specific tribe is because that specificity varies from tribe to tribe. Can you go back up? Oh, shit. Never mind, I got it. It's okay, I got it. But consider this. The number one reason why people buy from you is actually very simple. 
They buy because they are looking to achieve something specific in their life and you promise to help them. For example, let's say I'm not sleeping at night. I don't really want to buy a meditation training even if it could help me sleep at night. I want you to tell me point blank that you can help me sleep through the night and that this meditation was specifically designed to get me to that restful place within minutes. So in this, you know, it's not some magical solution. It's quite simply that people want to achieve something specific and you can promise to help them do that. So the reason why it's so imperative for you to pick a specific tribe is because those specific desires will vary from tribe to tribe. You know, where this gets challenging is when you know that what you can do can benefit all these different types of people. You know, for instance, does everybody need meditation? Definitely. But a stressed out mother has a very different set of specific needs and desires than busy executives. You know, a mom might want five minutes to herself and wants the meditation to help her reconnect with who her true self is so she doesn't feel like she's holding the weight of her family on her shoulders. Whereas an executive might be needing to make important decisions about the company or clarity about the path to take or how to bring the best version of you forward when you communicate, right? Different outcomes. So these specific outcomes that I would promise to a tribe of moms and a tribe of entrepreneurs, totally different. And this means that finding your tribe is definitely not about guessing what their desires are or trying to convince people that what you do is something that they need, but instead your focus is to position your business and your offerings to match with what people want. And again, this is why speaking to multiple tribes can be really hard. So take a look at your own business, your own marketing, your own offers and ask yourself this very simple question. Is every word communicating to your specific tribe how what you do will help them achieve their specific outcomes and solve their specific problems? If the answer is no, you're not talking to a specific enough tribe. And one more thing here about this, which is really, as you can hear me say, about specificity. You know, I hear people all the time say, you know, be more centered or more grounded or more something. And to you, that feels like a clear outcome. But I hate to tell you that those statements are about as far away from clarity and specificity as it gets. Because again, specific tribes want very different specific outcomes. A mother will be happy when she can find something that is exclusively for her, whereas an entrepreneur will feel happy when he finds something specifically for him or her. Right? You have to deliver those very specific and clear outcomes. So don't fool yourself into thinking that these overarching big promises are specific because they're not. The lesson here is that you should be able to paint a crystal clear picture of what people will actually be able to do or be or achieve once they work with you, almost like a movie playing out in front of them. For example, I could say that you're going to be more successful if you work with me, which is a nice, vague, overarching statement. Or to you, watching the tribe that I know so well, I could tell you that you'll have new clients coming to you effortlessly every week. You'll get invited to speak on other people's stages and share your wisdom with more people. That you can raise your prices because you can customize your solutions to meet the exact needs of your tribe. Right? Can you see the difference? One is to everyone and one is to you. So speaking of you, <laughs> let's turn this conversation around. Does this all make sense to you? Where might you still be struggling to find your specificity? Or do you have any doubts or concerns about narrowing this down into a specific tribe? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll make sure to address it in future videos or in our upcoming course. Now, if you don't know, the Proven Six Figure Path, which is one of my all-time most successful trainings, is coming up very soon. All about finding your tribe, clarifying your transformation, and packaging your products and services to really speak to them. So if you want my help in helping you get there, 
look for that information coming up soon. But in the meantime, let me know in the comment section below, what's still unclear? Where are you struggling? Where are you having a hard time deciding? Once you let me know, I'll make sure to address this in what's coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button. I'll see you again real soon. All my love to you.